Hello there, greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day. Light for your daily path. This is episode 681. Our topic is exceeding joy. And this is part two. A Bible reference is taken from God's word in Psalms 16 verse 11. Friends, joy in the spirit is like a positive cycle. We come into God's presence with singing and thanksgiving and receive his joy. This joy makes us sing, rejoice, and thank him even more. So joy in the spirit is like a positive cycle. The more we worship and rejoice in the presence of God, the more we are filled with his joy. Now, there are many who enter into God's presence without praise, without worship, without thanksgiving. And this is why many leave God's presence and continue in worry, in sadness, in depression, with heaviness of heart, because they don't know how to rejoice, how to enjoy God's presence in singing and dancing. Friends, make a conscious decision to start your day in God's presence with intentional worship, praise and thanksgiving despite how you may feel about certain things make sure that you are joyful and you watch joy expand in your heart and you'll exceed what you've experienced ever before in god's presence i pray over your day that you will experience god's joy and that god's joy will overflow in your heart in jesus name here is our task for today Write three things you are grateful for and spend time giving God praise for them. Identify three things you are grateful for and spend some time giving God praise for these things. Please pay close attention to the wisdom push. Today's declaration which you must declare upon yourself in the name of Jesus. And our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Your day will go well in the name of Jesus. Have a great day, Father. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.